describe a typical day for a player in the Australian Open? Uh, when you're not playing a match, you're just going to the side, you practice, you have a massage, you have lunch there. And when you have a match, like you go on site as well in the morning, you have your warm up, and then you play your match. Hopefully, you win. And then it's kind of the same thing you have a stretching, massage, and uh, debriefing with the coach. And um, well, then you come back to the hotel, you try not to have dinner too late and being in the bed to have a good sleep night. Oh, what would people be surprised to know about you? There is not, there is few people who knows that I play the piano since a long time. So maybe they would be surprised to know this about me. But unfortunately, I stopped a little bit because tennis is taking all my time. What music do you listen to pretty much? Um, it depends. Right now I'm listening a lot to David Guetta. Yeah, it's, it's one of the best DJ of the world, I think. And um, it gives me a lot of power before the match because it's like this kind of dance music, house music. It's really, I don't know, it, it makes me feel good and it makes me feel motivated for my match. How would you describe your style on and off the court? On court, I'm like very perfectionist. Um, I want to do good all the time. I'm supporting myself a lot. I, I scream a lot of Ali, Ali, vamos, come on. I like to share that with people. I'm very expressive. And well, of course, it's like, as you can see me now, <laughs> what is the best beauty tip you've been given? <laughs> I think the best beauty tip I've been given is for sure from my mom but I cannot remember what. <laughs> Probably the way I make up sometimes. She gives me some advices, but you know, she gives me a lot of advices and I don't listen to all of them. So <laughs> because there are good advices and less good advices. Who was your tennis idol growing up? <clears throat> so without any hesitation, that was Andy Roddick. When I was younger, it was really a, an example for me. I was thinking of him on the court, trying to do the same stuff, trying to supporting myself the same way that he, he was doing. And uh, it really helped me on some matches because I was, I was thinking, okay, just do like Andy, just fight like him. And, and it, it made me win a lot of matches like that. So I think that, that the, that's the role of an idol, but it really worked well for me. What is your greatest fear? Um, well, like everyone, I think the greatest fear is to lose people you love, for sure. Well, I don't want to talk about it so much, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but except from that, I, I, have a, I have a phobia, it's the spiders. I'm, I'm freaking out in front of spiders. It's like, I cannot breathe anymore, it's, it's a real phobia. And uh, yeah, like if I see a little one, small one like this, I'm getting crazy, I'm like running away and screaming. And <laughs> Which do you prefer, French wine or French pastries? Well, I like both, but um, I, I, I would say I prefer French pastries because I, I just love everything that is sweet. Do you have any rituals before you go on court? <laughs> I'm not so superstitious, so I have like simple rituals. Like I listen to my iPod. I prepare my racket and then I just like motivate myself and make myself ready to go on the court. Oh, thanks you!